Yeah, hi there. Look, my name's Wayne Dyson. Uh, I've got three kids, married, been happily married for over 30 years. I uh, came across Custodian back in what would have been about 98. I think it must have been John getting interviewed by Ray Martin, so nearly 25 years ago. For me, it's just been a, a wonderful community to be part of. It was just a great way to invest our precious money. When I first started with Custodian, we were at a point where you know, finance was it was very important and, and planning for the future was really critical. What Cust Custodian presented was an opportunity to say, hey, how about secure your future better? And I have my own business, it's called Bridgeworks, and it's about building bridges between people. So it's very much on the people side. And what really attracted me to Custodian was John's attitude. John's attitude was, look, if you're here just to make money, probably good idea to turn around and go out. If you're here to have a better life, then stay here and we'll talk about the financial side, but we'll also talk about your goals and your personal goals and how you're going to achieve them. One of the reasons I'm still here 25 years later is that John's always stuck to that philosophy. It's, I'm more the risk taker out of uh, Susan and myself. Susan was very much the skeptical one and I said, we've just got to do it. And that was probably one of the best decisions we've made for many years. I need to look at all the factors of the return I'm going to get by going into debt. For me, it was, it was a good risk to take. Once we got over the first property, we got the confidence to say, hey, this is, this is a good thing. This is a long-term prospect and let's jump on board. You've just got to look at the history and John bangs on about a lot. Property investments have been good for 100 years. Nothing's going to change too much overnight on that one. And the best part of the custodian journey, it's created a security for me. So when I do retire, because I'm sort of in that middle area at the moment, I know that I've, I've got that security. And I think if we could reduce that insecurity in life, by having, in this case, uh, something that's financially going to support us, even when things go tough, I think that's a good thing. The pandemic was a, a really interesting phase in our life, uh, in particular because my business is very much around face-to-face, -face, so my business pretty well dropped 90% overnight. So again, I just can't imagine what it'd be like if you didn't have that security of investment in the background when the tough times do happen. What's been the most difficult part of my journey is we joined Custodian back in 98. Then we got sidetracked into another property investment scheme which was based in New Zealand and we lost a lot of money. So we actually got scared away from any property investment for many years. So that's, that was probably the worst part of the journey. Look, my parents did have property, but it wasn't necessarily an organised portfolio. It was, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It wasn't really instilled into us as, as young folk to go out and get property. We've got a, our, the workshop tonight. I invited my daughter and, and her husband. They're very, very keen to start looking at, well, what can we do to invest for our family? Because they've got two, two kids themselves. Custodian is a family. It's a family. And I just think that's, that's a powerful gift that the organisation has. People have got a story to tell. I, I think that's the greatest learning when you talk to other people, you hear about their story, you hear about their challenges, you hear about the dark times, you, you hear about the good times. And I think that's the richness of, of you know, this collective as, as an organisation. Now that I've been through it, I would certainly go into it even deeper. We ended up with, with uh, three properties Australia-wide and I would have gone down the path of just, just that routine of buying a property every year or two and you know, just reinvesting as you go. So that's, that's what I would tell my 30-year-old self. It's about discipline. And for me, I had to learn that. <laughs> Fortunately, I married a wife that's very disciplined. Without a doubt, it's education. It's, you know, research it. You need to take full responsibility for what you're going to invest in. So that would be my biggest tip. Just go out, educate yourself. John's a man with a vision. He's a man with humility. He, he puts discipline in his life. One of the things I'm passionate about in my business and passionate about just in life, community, people working together for, for a cause. And what I found with custodian, what you do, you have my best interest at heart and I think that's what keeps me here. I think there's something to be said about longevity and let's face it, John's been around a long time and I think all of us that have a vision, you're here for a short time, having a vision, chasing after it is only going to do good for everyone. So I've loved his attitude towards health and the holistic approach to uh, you know, building yourself up as a person.